Hey guys, so the first thing we're doing is constructing our inner shelving. Let's get this started. Um, you could technically use glue. Um, I actually like brad nails, but I've actually seen someone do it uh, strictly from uh, oh, like crafter's glue. Not quite sure what the technical term is. So these are always uh, tricky. You can use a hinge. Uh, I don't, let me see if I can find a hinge. I, I, I honestly want to be as um, precise as possible. Sometimes the hinge actually takes away from that precision. In this case, it's actually not taking away. Oh, and let's get a square. Okay, so a square, and yeah, if there, it's not quite square. And so I'm just like pushing it. Um, um, hopefully I can get this adjusted. Yeah, it's always tricky. I can't blame anyone. This is always a bit uh, tricky. So I'm going to square it first, and then I'll uh, hinge it. That's perfect. Yeah, the, the, the first, the actual beginning is super, super tricky because um, I'm going to hold it steady, so. Oops. And progressively making sure everything's perfect here. Fi finally, it's square. And I'll show you that in one second here. So if we lift this, uh, you can see it's square. And that's important. So again, this is super helpful. Uh, this some sort of clamp. A square obviously and now I'm gonna make a choice here this is an 18 gauge brad nailer you can use a um, more of a fit so I would almost say this is a finishing nailer too. come to think of it brad is more like 16 gauge I believe but either oh 16 gauge 18 gauge 20 gauge I'm not even sure if they make 20 gauge they must anyway how I'm gonna make a choice here let me see if the camera's on. So I'm either using um, 5 eighths. Let's go see. So that doesn't give you any, I mean, this is a half, this is 5 eighths. So it doesn't really go in at all. This might be handy for the putt board. That's perfect. But it's too small for the, uh, for the plywood. So here I have, one three sixteenths, which is um, between one eighth and one quarter. And that's just gonna do just fine. Now, remember to wear safety glasses. Let me get some safety glasses. Dark here, so I turned on the light. And now we're gonna brad nail it. Other than making sure it's square, I make sure that the edges are flush over here, okay? And again, I can use the square or any straight edge to do that. And just be careful. Um, you know, you don't want to have your finger in front of this. I'm going to try to use something so that I don't have my finger in front of it. Oops. Perfect, perfect. I'm super happy with that. And you just gotta be super careful that um, these are going where you want them to go. Nice. <laughs> you know, 
Um, you don't want them to exit out of the material. Anyways, that should suffice actually. And now, a couple more here. I just needed more room. And so I just try to make sure it's as straight as possible with the gun, like it lines up with this material. And that way, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't shoot out of the edge. Because that's always annoying when it shoots, it shoots out of the edge. You have to uh, essentially fix it. So what we're doing here is we're making the inner kind of assembly for the photo booth. Uh, the really neat thing here is that these are shelves. And these shelves essentially are going to allow um, they're going to hold the the Surface Pro, they're gonna hold the Surface Pro up against the um, back here, and they're gonna hold the equipment and you can easily remove them. So for access to the Surface Pro, for access to the equipment, um, they're easily removable. So that's the idea here. This is our photo booth. Now, we actually, uh, we sell these kits, so the kit includes just this material, the puck board, and it's all shaped and ready to go. You just have to put it together, add the components, and you're good to go. And that's what we're going to go through here. We're going to go step by step through building this so that you can do it yourself. Hey, if you just want to do it yourself, wing it, that's no problem. One thing I found with these, it took a really long time to customize the screen so it's perfect. Took about 12 times for us to customize this screen here so that the photo booth perfectly sits. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider depending where it is, how it's sitting inside the, the container. Um, it, it took us 12 times to make sure it's all perfect, that the, the uh, video uh, camera is not covered, that it's just sitting right, because sometimes it looks like where the screen is, but once it's on, well, you still need access to uh, the title tab, the task bar, and you really need this to be perfect. And that was the tricky part, really. So it was manufacturing this door here. We kind of did this ingenious man, uh, design so that um, you can still slide the shelves in, um, and that, but this holds those shelves in once it's locked in place, and there's gonna be a magnet lock in there. So. Uh, hopefully this is all making sense. It's actually pretty late in the day. <laughs> um, I'm a little tired, but let's get started. So we want this to be mirrored. This is exciting. You know, every time I'm making a booth, it's quite exciting. It's just another booth that can go out. Lee and I really increased our sale capacity by make uh, by having it uh, shipped to small towns in kind of a surrounding neighborhood that way we could get more clients you know it's just kind of staying there so let's just let's just go for it here Nice. Now, I never want to put my finger like really ahead of it. Uh, so I kind of risked it there. I would say it's a low risk situation. I've had, <laughs> I've had finishing nails and brad nails go through fingers before. It's not the end of the world, obviously. It's not a happy day. I've even had a, a, I shot myself with a nail gun the first time I ever used it, but never again. So lesson learned clearly after that. So that's why I'm careful too. First time I ever used that, I used to work for a contractor guy. Uh, I shot myself with a nail gun, so kind of a funny situation. 
And now, you know, this is never going to be perfectly square. It's kind of a challenge, honestly, to get a perfect square. You see, I'm aligning it here, but it lifts up slightly there. And, and that's okay. As we put everything onto it, it's really going to um, kind of become square, more or less. But yeah, there's a bit of a discrepancy here, but that is okay. Yeah, okay, so I did kind of a compromise. This will eventually bend down. Uh, once the back plate is on, it'll snug up, so it's fine. Uh, let's let's shoot up a couple more. Perfect. And again, you can use combination of glue and brad nails, but once um, the front is on and the back and then the edging, it actually becomes very solid. Like, it's not really going to go anywhere. So that's that. That's the. Oh, now it's going to be a challenge. And now we're going to do the top. The top. Uh, the top piece of wood, I guess. Yeah, it's a challenge to make this enclosure if you get the kit. We also sell <coughs> the enclosure pre-made, just the basic enclosure. Um, you still need to fill it with parts, um, several things, but that saves you the hassle of doing this. Whatever works for you, I mean, if you have the time, you can always try it yourself. It's totally doable. Some people are, are, are obviously more handy than others. Um, it can be a fun winter project to do. Completely up to you. Now I'm gonna kind of square this, but it's not that necessary because it, it does have to line up right there. So what's more important than squaring to some extent is making sure that um, the entirety of the box is squared. So once we attach that, we might just kind of give it a bit of a shove to help uh, square it. It's also nice to have someone like be able to hold this for you um, safely, of course. There we go. I'm gonna do it on this side, I think. Perfectly flat, looking good. Uh, let's, let's go like that. Oh, we got a customer coming in. It's kind of awkward that I'm filming myself. Do you want to come around uh, back? Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell him to go around back. 
There we go. Again, I'm, I'm not a professional at all, by the way, um, at all. I did work for a contractor, like I mentioned, for about a year, so I know a little bit. But there you go, that's essentially the um, um, inner enclosure. Hold on, I'm gonna help this customer. And then let's get back into it for the outer enclosure.